Okay. Uh, price, what exactly what model is this? Come on. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> yeah, how many K? <laughs> you can't win it. <laughs> you can't win it. <laughs> 48, thank you. Who had the 48K rubber key version? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Um, all right. This wasn't around back at, around uh, in 2006, but um, you get the point. It's from. It? We're looking back. What is it? <laughs> That's an iconic that piece of work by Sir Clive Sinclair. That's what it is. Okay. So what's happened since 2006? Well, let's just uh, have a look at a few things. Um, this is my my sort of observation of you guys doing my course. Uh, there's a lot right, but there's actually a lot, a, a, a lot wrong, really. A lot of things that sort of concern me. The, f the first is that content has changed remarkably over, I think, between 2005, 6, and now. You used to find poor content online, but you search on almost any subject now, you find authoritative, well-written articles, review-type articles about almost anything. And it used to be quite difficult to find good information. People are writing better information and offering more and putting more investment into that. But I don't see that totally reflected with the businesses that, that we necessarily see at Axis. Um, and we're guilty of it as well. You know, we don't publish enough articles. We don't put, it, put enough out there, really. Some stuff goes in Axis community, but very little outward face. Absolutely not, no. Yeah, I mean, you'll find uh, the, the, the course that I train, I, I get people come back the next week and go, well, I found this that contradicts you, and I found another thing that contradicts what the contradiction is. Yeah, absolutely. The, sort of, the accuracy of information. I think we can... <laughs> yeah. Also, with business side, there's a best interest. You want to sell your product, so you might exaggerate and you might colour it as well. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But th that's what things like dig... Uh, are going to be for where you review articles, you rate them, and they move up. Sort of that Darwinian selection: a good article rises to the top of the pile. Something poor and unrespected sort of moves down. I mean, uh, you, know, you can write a book on something, but five years later, it's been reviewed repeatedly. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, um, okay. Um, very quickly, anybody doing pay per click at the moment? We've got some customers spending up to a hundred thousand a year on it now. <laughs> Never been on a course. Just just spending a hundred thousand a year doing it. Okay, I'm seeing pay-per-click prices rise well, by about sort of 40, 50 percent since 2006. Remember doing your figures, Kez, and they're a kind of a little bit higher now. Yeah. Um, Google Co UK completely dominant to the point at the moment, certainly B two B in small businesses, that you can almost ignore the rest at this point. Um, techie and marketeer worlds kind of converging and blur, and I think the sort of skill set of, of a techie and a marketeer are sort of coming back together now. I don't think it's sort of this, this techies, I think it's a, a term that's really out of phrase, out of date really. I think we need a new, new word to describe kind of what we do really, which is part sort of SEO and, and entrepreneurial, but also quite kind of technical in nature. And the main thing is the web maturing and this idea of us using the web as a social space is sort of starting to come through now. This is a little network of our sort of people's connections, seven degrees of separation and all that. Okay, so what's happening now? I think the web has sort of appeared flat to me for a while, but actually it's, it's been moving and now going to move moving at quite, quite a pace. I've seen a, a, a gulf, a sort of worrying gulf emerge between the kind of web one as basic website, you know, you know, you know the sort of site that you come to where it's home about us, product services, separate gallery, separate testimonial, that kind of basic website and no content produced and the people who are actually starting to kind of engage with all these sort of web two tools and writing articles and blogging and posting and all that sort of stuff. I'm still seeing quite a kind of uh, the same level of sort of failure to invest. The same people who would be happy to spend 20 grand on yellow pages to cover uh, Leicester, Derby and Nottingham are uh, concerned or sort of sceptical about spending even a grand on their websites when the, obviously the reach could be way higher. Um, I think there is a body of kind of SMEs who are dangerously uninformed. I don't include you guys in this room but a lot of businesses that we come across are quite frighteningly uninformed about what the web's at now and where, where it's going. And uh, I think, uh, this is my train speeding off, I think we're at the point now where the web's going to move quickly and I think we're gonna, people are now going to get left behind. I think it's moving quite quick now. Got you worried now, you might be missing out on something. <laughs> Five things I expected to have happened that haven't. How annoying is that? <laughs> Can you believe it? 
Actually, it's slightly more than five, but... Um, I thought the mobile web would be massive by now, and it... Well, yes. oh, yeah. Sorry, no. Ubiquitous, massive, That's huge. The day, um, somebody wanted to interview me broadcast from his mobile phone live onto the web. Yeah? Like, we don't get that. <laughs> Might surprise you. I interview you, and he was like, got this, this mobile phone out. Yeah, and I said, yeah, going live to the web. He went, oh, yeah. I expected mass action uh, over accessibility. I thought accessibility legislation and the idea that you had to make your site accessible, we'd have a few test cases, and then the, the literally millions of websites that are kind of table and selly and uh, perhaps not that accessible, there'd be a huge panic in those businesses and there would be a huge push for kind of uh, CSS-based websites. And I'm, we've not really seen that happen. That's quite su surprised me, really. That would, be led, that would be led by web builders from a marketing point of view, and because they can't do it, it's not being mentioned. <laughs> Interesting, yeah. I would say it would be led by legislation or a panic in the, med you know, the, the, in the media about people getting sued, but yeah, you're right. <laughs>